All right, let's arm it. Armed. And uh, what setting are we in? Horizon mode. Acro mode. There, let's put an acro. Let's go up. I'll keep it nice and close. Ooh, it wants to fly high. There's a car, I'll turn around. There's my house. There's my driveway, there's somebody walking, running. And there's a tree, let me pick that up. <laughs> hey, welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, I'm gonna show you something really cool for the year 2020 in the world of FPV Mini Tiny Whoop drones. Now, a few episodes ago, I was flying my Tiny Whoop in the house around and out my garage and outdoors. And uh, this is a drone from the year 2016. It was state-of-the-art in 2016, but now in the year 2020, it's pretty old and it's not state-of-the-art. It's pretty bad, actually. But there is a new Tiny Whoop out in the year 2020 that makes this guy look like it's from the Stone Age. Here it is. This is the Beta FPV 65X HD. Why is it so amazing? Well, let me tell you. First off, it doesn't have brushed motors. It has brushless motors. Like, you know, the brushless motors that you get on extremely expensive drones, you know, like the DJI Mavic drones, brushless motors, little mini brushless motors on this thing. So super powerful. Second thing, it doesn't fly with a 1S battery. It flies with a 2S battery, so it can handle a lot more voltage and go pretty darn quick, even though it's so tiny. And most certainly the flight control underneath has all been updated and it's got all the latest technology. Yes, you have flip over turtle mode, you have smart audio, ESCs, everything has been redone to 2020 standards. But that's not the most amazing part. The most amazing part is if I take off this here cover and show you what's underneath, there is a spot to put a micro SD card so that this camera, which is the tiniest HD camera on the market pretty much, can record 1080p video onto that micro SD card. Look at the size of this thing. Look at the size. Now for the price, it comes in this tiny little case and you do get two batteries, at least two batteries came with mine. And I did get a battery charger, which is a really cool charger. You will have to provide an external power, but if you're into the FPV hobby, you already have that external power to provide to charge up your batteries quite easily. Mine also came with this goodie bag right here. And inside there's a bunch of extra wires that you can hook up to the battery so that you can charge them in different ways. And the last really cool thing about this little Beta 65X is it only weighs 32 grams. 32 grams. You know, we have that limit of 250 grams or below for, you know, all sorts of regulations. This thing is like 32 grams with an HD camera. Pretty amazing. And if you add the two 1S batteries to it, you know, it just brings the weight up a bit more, but still extremely reasonable. All right, enough chit chat. Let me uh, show you this thing flying. All right, I have the Beta 65X right here and I'm gonna attach the batteries to it, which are over there charging. And I have to use a radio to fly it. So since mine came with an FR Sky receiver that's already in the little uh, flight board, I have to use a FR Sky compatible type radio. And this would be here, the QX7. You've probably seen me use this in a lot of videos. It's very common, very inexpensive. This is the radio I'm going to use to fly this here drone. Batteries are all charged up. Green light, green light. So yank that out, yank that out, and we're all set to go. Slide the batteries in. There we go. Two batteries in place. Just have to connect these wires. This will start up and it will automatically connect itself because I've already bound it to this here radio. So the two, the two will be connected. All right, power this on. You'll see some lights come on and it will make a pretty sound. There we go. And that beeping sound is because it has a beeper in it to find it. So I control that beeper with this switch right here. Watch this. Angle mode. If I want the beeper back on. Horizon mode. So I always put my beepers with horizon mode. Angle mode. There we go. It's off. Now, as soon as you connect the batteries, it automatically starts recording if you put a micro SD card in there. So this here camera is actually live and so is the audio. All right. Here's my little studio and here's our little Beta 65X. Let's arm it. Right. Let's uh, fly it. See what the video looks like. There we go. There's my little drone right in front of me. How does the video look? Now, there's no image stabilization in this beast. So uh, basically, if I move all over the place, you will get video moving all over the place. But it's pretty easy to control. I have it in horizon mode for flying indoors right here. If you fly FPV, it's pretty simple to control. And uh, let me just plop it down here. And uh, let me show you this. Here, I'll turn that off. Angle mode. All right, if it's still recording, it also records audio. So testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. This is the audio recorded on this tiny camera. 
you really don't need to record audio because all it's going to record is the sound of the motors. But if the motors are off, well, you get this audio. All right, I've got the little Beta FPV 65X sitting on a milk carton on my driveway. Let's plug it in. All right, today's a strange day. Most people are supposed to be indoors because of restrictions to be outdoors, but everybody's outdoors because the sun's out and the temperature's actually a little bit warm for my area. But So I'm going to fly this not too far, keep it close. It's so tiny that, you know, if I banged into anything, it'd be like a mosquito. It doesn't weigh anything. I'll show you the screen that I see in my Fat Sharks as well as the video recorded on the HD, which is higher quality. I'm just going to keep the drone over in my area over here so it's not... I see kids down the road, so I'm not going to go near them. Oop, I hear a car coming. Hang on a sec. I see a squirrel bouncing around the road in front of me. Now, one thing I have to mention is uh, Beta FPV said don't fly this if it's windy outside because it's so tiny, it's going to blow all over the place, not weighing very much. And it's, it's windy out right now, so uh, I'm going to fly it anyways. All right, let's arm it. Armed. And uh, what setting are we in? Horizon mode. Acro mode. There, let's put an acro. Let's go up. I'll keep it nice and close. Ooh, it wants to fly high. There's a car, I'll turn around. There's my house. There's my driveway, there's somebody walking, running. And there's a tree, let me pick that up. <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. Let's go slower this time. There we go. Little slower. Keep it low to the ground. Let's go forward. Go past my little red post here. That's for winter snow clearing. There's the road where all the activity is. Look at all the cars. There's not a, supposed to be anybody out doing anything. And there's cars everywhere. There's my house down here. There's me sitting there. there let's go fly over the snow. There's that one of the trees. These trees reach out and grab drones all the time. So here we go. We have 1080p HD video coming from this thing. I don't want to go too far out of the road here. I'll go to my neighbors a little bit. Go over the snow. I'm keeping it out of the wind. As soon as I go up too high, then I'm in the windy mode. So down here, the wind hits the back of the houses and uh, I can fly it. No problem. And I see more individuals coming. Let's see how close I can get to me. Here I am here. Coming around. Go right by my head. That's a pretty good uh, movement there. So it looks like it's pretty darn decent here. I'm not doing anything exciting due to all the level of activity on my road. So yeah, let's just bring it back nicely. So pretty cool. All right, I got my little drone out here and uh, it is actually evening now and there's less people out. So I'm going to fly it without some congestion of people all over the place. So let's take it for a flight. All right, so the camera should have me. I'll put my fat sharks on and we're ready to go. Armed. All right, so now we have some freedom of flight in motion here. So how's that look for video quality? Going through the park. And what did you think about the Beta FPV 65X? I have it in its little case that it comes in right here and that's everything included. Now, I will say two things. There are two models of this drone on the Beta FPV website and I have links to them below. And I think I do have a discount coupon as well so you can save some cash if you buy them through the links below that Beta FPV sent me since they are the ones who sent me this drone. This, in my opinion, is the best thing to happen to tiny whoops for FPV in the year 2020 so far because 
There is nothing that records as well as this on the market in that small a form factor at this time. So this is pretty darn cool if you're into the FPV hobby. So as I mentioned, links are below, and if I have not already explained it, there are two versions of this 65X. One has the ability to put a micro SD card so you can get that high quality video, and the other one does not have the micro SD card slot so that you just fly it around like a tiny whoop and record the video in your fat shark goggles or some other way. If you have questions on this product, please post them below and I will try to answer them as best as I can. But for now, I'm going to say thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in future videos with maybe more FPV, RC cars, camera drones, boats, if our ice melts here on the water. And uh, yeah, we'll see you out there. All right, guys, take care. Catch you in the next one.